Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm busy. Today, we're going to be checking out Lamp Post. It's a little game where we're going to be investigating a SCP type that appears to be a lamp post. That is the only information on the page. Let's hop in and see how it goes. So the van drives up. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. Random lamppost SCP XXXXX is currently under an supervision of Team Alpha. They're heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give answers to the unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. Okay. Our intel suggests that this is a Keter class SCP, which means it is difficult to contain and we should be very careful when observing this object. SCP doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forest, yet the objects in this area appeared from unknown locations. We must contain those objects. Here, this is an analog multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities, like frequency or signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lampposts and collect them. I will be checking for other anomalies as well. As well. Dr. Cooper will observe, observe us just in case if anything happens and Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Dr. Cooper and afterwards we can discuss the discovery together. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamp post, and good luck. Okay. So. Going off or anything. Oh. That one's gone. Okay, what okay. did this? Nope. Is that a light? That's four. Well, I need one more thing. Oh. Oh. Um. Hmm. Be one more thing somewhere. Thorn, you see anything? Very clear looking lamppost, right? So this light glows more intensely but spans a shorter range. We must be very careful with it. I already feel uncomfortable being here. Yeah. I just don't I just don't see the last sample. Like nothing. Oh, there it is. Found it. It was a that floppy disk off in the bush. Didn't see it. Here you go. Must have worked. We need to pack these things and get them back to the lab to ensure safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do you not wonder where all those objects coming are coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? Uh, no one is allowed in this area yet. There are many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension? There's one behind you. There is one behind you. The anomaly meter is picking up higher frequency. Damn, I'll, I'll know the lamppost. Ooh. Okay. What? Find a way out. Okay, it took me. Cool. What was this? Day unknown, we discover something out of this world. It's a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished right in front of our eyes. My theory is that this vortex of photons created a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else, a dark place, where time is non-existent. 
The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around it. After that, it starts em emitting strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the object go or person disappears. Okay, there's bones. Cool. Oh! That was not good. Okay. Oh, not that, that, that way. Lumpus. Wait, maybe? No? Okay. Um, oh, okay. That scared me. Um, door. Bones? Oh, another butler. Sometimes the lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those people. Those who return, but one thing is clear. Those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name. It suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there's nothing left of you. Ooh, okay. That's lovely. What's this? To anyone observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye, it will vanish, but once appear, appear once more. We call it the Photon Shadow, which was created by, created by the lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever, without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Mm. Okay, that... Oh! Hey, um, Dr. Hayden, you good? You good? Oh, his eyes gone. <laughs> eh, okay. That's, uh, mm-hmm. Oh. What's this? Nothing? No drink? Okay, cool. Oh, my God. That's him. Can we have to turn all the computers on? Or something? Maybe? I don't, I don't... I don't want to... That's the plant post. There's one. Go to the... Can I, can I get by you, bud? <gasps> My, my free. I'm back, and there's literally nothing here, but my multimeter. Oh, there's more. Um. Okay, so that was lamp post. If you guys enjoyed the video. Or you want to uh, download and check the game out yourself, I will leave a link in the description below. But if you liked the video, give a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.